Okay so today we are going to try generating full body portraits of characters with varying expressions using stable diffusion. This technique has been used in plenty of visual novel games to deliver more depth in the emotions of the character. So that we can show their hands and body language as well. The method we will use is pretty similar to a previous video I made on expressions. The link is in the description. Ok without further ado let's start. First of all I am going to use a prompt template. From this Geetha repo. The prompt template for digital art. Ok, and a negative prompt as well from another GitHub repo. Yeah don't worry I'll include both links in the description. So we will use the Mage Space tool. After copying and pasting the prompts we are going to adjust some settings. If we want a full body portrait prompt then we need to specify a bigger size than a square 1 into 1. Like this 9 into 16. That's much better. Now set the quality and the guidance scale to a higher amount. So that no unwanted or extra objects appear. For now I am setting the quality to 70 and the guidance scale to 17.5. Now let's try this prompt. Full body portrait of a calm clean shaven monk with orange dress and hands in prayer. That way we can specify the dress color which is orange and and the position of the hands as well. If you want you can specify the type of dress too. And also the reason for specifying clean shaven is that I tried the prompt before and sometimes it gave beards too. Hence we have to specify. Now let's generate the image. So overall it looks great and very realistic. The hands are a bit iffy but not an issue. So he is wearing something similar to a gi which is used in karate. Let's remember the features from this picture. And now copy paste the seed value here. And put it in the seed field. Now change the prompt and add the word smiling. You can see that both his expression and body language has changed. Of course he is retaining the same pose as specified in the prompt. But the rest is nearly identical. The hands are still an issue but they can be fixed using inpinting. It's expected in AI images. Now let's try the opposite. We will make him unhappy. So replace the word smiling with unhappy. Now you can see he has a very solemn expression on his face. This suits the monk style. He does not show his unhappiness too overtly as he has mastered his emotions. There is also a small ring in his hand which didn't appear before. It can be fixed with inpinting. Ok so we will do one last expression. That is to make him laugh as laughter is good for health. Now adjust the prompt to make him laugh. Replace unhappy with laughing. And now let's see what we got. Now we can see he is laughing and his head is bowed down to emphasize that he is indeed laughing hard. As we know we move our head up and down while laughing. All this is done while the overall appearance is preserved which is great. Now let's see all the results together. Regarding the background it changes a bit with each prompt. But it is no issue as it can easily be fixed using background in painting. Mage Space has a specific use case for this. But I'm not going through that today. Anyway I hope you understood how to use seed values and specific prompts effectively. 
This is key if you want to have consistent characters in media you want to create such as a book or video game. So that's about it for now. Have a good day.